Thursday, Friday Fridays Eve. Eve here on Blind Guys Walk the Life. This the hour, best one hour of your day, we're gonna have two great giveaways, two. and we also are gonna show you our fabulous plant-based treat as we introduce you to our fabulous guest today, all along the way. With Scam artists, beware! Scam. <laughs> artists, beware! Because we have ways that we can protect our information and we're going to come from the parents point of view from a parent who's raising two entrepreneurs mm. all that takes place in this best one hour of your day on blind guy his wife their life live but we can't start the show without thanking those to help make this broadcast possible absolutely this broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsors and turn down the music selector absolutely unmuted sponsors now let me let you know that we are excited to have you sponsors thank you thank you for everyone that has hit the thumbs up but especially for those that have gone the extra mile to buy us a coffee or sponsor the program in any way that you've done so so here is where we say thank you to our sponsors let's just go for it right Corey? go for it all right so here they are some of them come back every single week Thank you, David and Christine Brooks, for choosing us. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Of Elizabeth City State University. Bought us 99 coffees and decaf. Supreme Sports. They weren't on the screen. Check out his YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you, JBWR. Supreme Sponsor, Next Gen Investor. Check out her YouTube channel. Thank you, Next Gen Investor. Absolutely. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. Oh my All goodness. Right. You know, we almost did not have our sponsors on the screen. I was just looking at them, enjoying them, but you all know the reigning champs, David and Christine Brooks. We can't start the show without saying thanks to them, right? So, of course, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek at our reigning champs because these people make it possible for us to be here every single week. And, you know, we appreciate it. So, so it's time to get this best one hour of your day started on Blind Guy Has Wiped Their Life Live. We're talking scam protection and scam prevention with Jara C of Fit Goddess Tribe, two great giveaways, and introducing you to our plant-based treat and a fabulous guest all along the way in this one yes. hour. Let's go, let's go, let's start the show <laughs> with our real talk with them top they designed intro. All right, yes, let's start the show. It's another episode of a blind guy. His wife. Hey everybody, I'm Corey the blind guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together we let you into our life live. Every hump day to Friday. Bang, bang! That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get right into today's topics. Today's topics, we're going to be talking about scam prevention. And we're going to have two great giveaways Ooh. that are going to be part of this show. But of course, you can't have fun without you guys in the home team. You can leave com questions and comments in our live chat. They're already doing it. Tasha Oshi Crows is like, woohoo, because she was Mama first. Tasha has a garden. Oshi Oshi Crows. And all the way up there, Maryland. Got yeah. some notebook paper coming for you, Tasha. Hey, you know, you know what? JBWR is putting in the home team. JBWR, we appreciate our sponsors. sponsors. Yes, he says he was too slow to be first. But you know, Coach Remy beat you because he's in Rwanda, he's in Belgium, he's a coach, he's fit. <laughs> so what's happening today, Corey? Because we got Lion Crest Outdoors. <sighs> <laughs> the Mufasa of mangoes, the Simba of sweet potatoes, the scar of scallions is in the building. Yes. And you're gonna hear him roar. Well, what if they are watching on the replay? Because we have a lot of people that are watching now, like Sec Amethyst, the Lioness of Peace, like Shine oh, Moss Farm. That worked out. The Lashes lion, Journey. Lion Crest, and then the Lioness of <laughs> It worked came out. Right out. So we got uh, Mufasa and Sarabi in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, Talk With Tori and African Dreaming are here also. Lay hands on that like button and Talk With Tori. That's what he always says. Lay hands on the like button. So African so, Dreaming is in Tanzania. But hey, African Dreaming. if they've already clicked the like like button uh but and the people on the replay have already clicked the like button what else should they do 
they can just look forward to again meeting our fabulous guest today. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. Sorry, hey, Vanessa, pop, I had to say pop, hi. Pop, <laughs> but you can they can look forward to our fabulous guests and enjoying, like I said, two great giveaways. Our plant based treat that comes at the end of every show. Stick and stay because we got a fantastic voyage for you today as we introduce you to a fantastic businesswoman and mom. Her name is Jara C, a fit goddess tribe. We're going to bring her in to say good morning. Good morning, Jara. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Jari, you got two two partners there with you. Who introduces to these two young men? Oh, yeah. To my favorite dynamic duo, uh, my birthday boy, the six-year-old Nasir. Happy hey. birthday. Hello, Nas. I'm, I'm happy I'm taking a Nas six. Uh-huh. Because hey. now, now I know because I made it. Because you guys said on research, five-year-olds cannot have turtles, but I have keep turtles alive. That's true. Oh, and right. this is his older brother, uh, my soon to be 10 year old of uh, Adventure Time, Eli, Eli the Great. So nice, Eli, Eli the Great. Great and Nasir, you guys are coming to us to bring us the word on the street. Now, remember, uh, we do have people watching. For example, there's Wally listening. Now, Wally doesn't like okra, so he always says, team, no okra. Wally always thinks everything is rigged because we do a lot of giveaways, and I know you two. Well, actually, Eli, Adventure Eli, you're going to be giving away a book today, and the giveaway is not going to be rigged, right? I don't know. I'm going to have three books in a row. That's right. So that's why it's $30. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to have Philip Baldo Jr. is excited about these three books. Everyone is excited about your birthday, Nasir Sek Amethyst. The Lioness of Videography says, Happy birthday. So what's the word on the street today, guys? Oh, they have on the street is entrepreneur. 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 Well, tell us what the word entrepreneur means to you. Alright, so the entrepreneur is like a person who is their own boss. Mm -hmm. Their own boss, so they get to go around telling it. They're like, "Self, make sure you send out that email. Self, make sure you put that on the calendar. Self, pour me some coffee, <laughs> like that." Yeah. Yeah. He says, "Yeah, okay." And then, well, what is you, what is your entrepreneurship? Because I know you have yeah your business. I know you have a book, but are you who's holding that animal? And which animal is that? Can you tell us a little bit about that? So my brand is Vegetime Eli. And I have a copy of my book. Would you like me to hold it? With my oh, freaking? this is cool. Sec Amethyst is saying, hey, Eli. Adventure Time so, Eli. So and I'm talking. here to tell you adventures. Okay. I have a wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Before you start talking, I'm going to give you the full screen so we can see that book. So we're going to put it back up. And I see that the frog is about to escape. Tasha Oshi grows is saying happy birthday. Okay. So let's have a back, Say that again. I have to. Are, right, are you all ready? Here it is. Show us the book. That's Adventure Time Last Slimy and Scaly Adventures. It has facts about all kinds of my animals, Hold on, I'll turn the page real including quick. Bowser the Red Slider. Oh. Uh -huh. He's also known as a Red Eared Terrapin. They come from Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you, kid, huh? That's me. <laughs> Nice. And then you've got animals, new animals to add to your next book, right? I see the frog. Yeah, well, tell us about that frog you have there. This is a ornate Pac-Man frog, and they come from South America. And they eat all kinds of things, such as worms, crickets, and even when they get bigger, they'll eat things such as mice and other frogs. How big do they get? About four inches. At max. And, and and this frog can jump a lot with his long yes. feet. This is a smoky jungle frog. Because smoky jungle frogs can just jump everywhere. Because the last night he was jumping like free. <laughs> this guy <laughs> comes from Costa Rica. Oh. Oh. Costa Rica. You know what? Tasha Oshi Grows is saying that is awesome. Um, also, there's a person, Well Talk Productions, he's saying you guys are young soldiers with entrepreneurial skills. So the word on the street today is entrepreneur, African dreaming, he's in Tanzania saying nice. And Sec Amethyst says she loves turtles. She's not a dog person, not a cat person. She's a turtle girl. 
Because you guys are fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got a copyright strike. Copyright strike. <laughs> so, John, you, John, you, you are raising two businessmen, and you're doing it. You're, you're, you're a business woman yourself. And we're talking about scam prevention today. So, we want to talk to you about what it is that you're doing as a parent, like as far as, as far as finding registered resources for them to uh, grow their business skills and social media, the pros and cons of social media having a child or children posted on social media for the purposes of business so we're going to talk about some of those things today but what is a tip that you can give parents as far as like making sure that they, they they're getting their children involved in entrepreneurship what can they do to make sure that they are safe and also that their information their business is growing yeah everybody's listening real talk with Tabi is in south africa <laughs> listening on this scam prevention she's go ahead the biggest tip is to do your research. It's the, the fundamental thing to learn in school, right guys? To do your research. Oh, yep. 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 That's why they acquired all these apples. Exactly. So <laughs> with everything um, that I do, before I involve my kids, I normally test it out myself. You know, I talk to the people thoroughly. I ask, I always call and say, hey, I'm that mom. Before, before we get into it, hey, I'm that mom. I have a thousand questions. I ask a bunch of questions. You, you know, you I don't have a thousand questions. I don't. Not for you, maybe. I do the questions. reviews. You know, I call around and see what other people are saying about that place. You know, you find the the actual factual statistics about it. You know, I um, have a question for you yes, because Alchemic Aura is saying, oh my God, is there such a thing as reptil reptilianors? Like instead of entrepreneurs, she says, happy birthday, Nas. Hey, Eli. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a thing called a reptilianor yet. Yes, you got to coin the phrase. <laughs> well, guys, we just- that's Copyright, that's trademark. <laughs> that, that's a whole nother level of branding. Oh, I thought copyrighting was bad. No, copyrighting was good. Yes. Yeah, so thank, this is great because we appreciate you all giving us the word on the street. And of course, we've got the birthday boy, Nasir. Uh, he has three books coming out. We've just seen Eli's book, Adventure and Eli. Elijah has an event where he'll be vending and presenting on this Saturday. It's at, what's the name of the, uh, the place that you'll be vending? Pet, Pet World, right? Yes, Pet World and Mercury Boulevard. You might right. see us there because we might go to there today. <laughs> I like it. All right. So we can't get the great for people to see and get your book. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop you guys back into the virtual green room. And we got some great, great, we got some, um, some PC pizza. We have mm -hmm. some computer chips and some software salsa for you. And mom, we got some virtual vino for you uh, in the background as well. Wait, so wait, hold on. Now. Did you actually see that? Uh-huh. So yeah. she's going to his Instagram page. Yeah, that's that's Adventure Eli's Instagram page when he was at work because he's an entrepreneur at Pet World. That's where yes. he'll be this Saturday for Scaly Saturdays in Hampton. So, uh, all right, guys, can you tell all the viewers goodbye for now? Goodbye see for you later. later. See you later. All, all right, right. We'll so see we'll you see mom, mom will be flying solo when she comes back to talk yes. about scam prevention and protection with Jara of Fit Goddess Tribe. Take care. Now, you guys, this broadcast is powered by StreamYard and viewer support by viewers like you. you. You can be part of the Blind Guy Has Wiped Their Life home team by remembering to bum rush the button. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Yes, just like Rainbow Green Hands. He is Jamaican. <laughs> He's making it like garden slugs on my kohlrabi. <laughs> yes, him and Cassandra Dominic, they come in, they hit the chat, they hit the thumbs up, they get in the chat, they talk to us back and forth. So it's a great exchange, but we do appreciate your support with that thumbs up. Now, of course, you can always visit blindguyhiswife.com. Scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen, you can see there, that's how you can deepen your impact here on Blind Guy His Wife. You can definitely make sure you can download Art Yeah, the Free Little Pigs remix, and the original Fractured Fairy Tale by yours truly with sound effects. It's like a PBS special, an audio story style. Yeah, so when you head over to blindguyhiswife.com, just scroll down and you will see it right there. You can also make sure that you support this broadcast because Blind Guy Has Wife Their Life, the parent company of that of Blind Guy Has Wife Their Life, is Atumpan Edutainment, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Yes. So when you come to our page, make sure you click the green coffee cup so she can say, 
What you doing? And I can say, girl, you know what I'm fitting to do. I want to start the thing. Um, yeah. So that means when you head over to blindguyhiswife.com, scroll and click the green coffee cup. Support the production. It does open a widget when you open when you click the green coffee cup. You can choose to support this stream with one coffee, three coffee five coffees we always type in 25 coffees because Corey cannot see he has been blind for over 25 years that's why i'm always reading the chats to keep him in the loop so that he knows what's going on leave your name say something nice of course you're supporting you can see who else has supported thank you so much jbwr one of our favorite sponsors we do appreciate you jbwr has an amazing channel and um i don't know if you saw his recent video Corey. It was good. It was it was a reaction to a reaction and, <laughs> of a doctor and a, a high level um, therapist. Like she's a master level therapist, you know. Okay. So, anyways, okay. it was good. Great analysis. So, anyways, I like the definitely the nuns stealing money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that <was> good. <laughs> yeah, man. You know. So, all we're saying is definitely we are enjoying this community. We enjoy you all and in whatever way you can support each other. Support us with a thumbs up. Hey, support got, us with a watch and a share. I got a joke for JBWR. JBWR, why did the nun steal the money? Because she ain't had none. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Um, yeah, so. Like, now what do they do if they got ashy ankles? Oh, okay, yes. Uh, if you have ashy ankles, um, you can just head on over to Violet Botanical Skin Care right there on blindguyhiswife.com. You can scroll down a little bit more and you can shop right there at, you can click the red button underneath the product line. This is where your place for body butter, body scrubs, skin care for children, adults, teenagers. Great for eczema relief and just keeping yourself nice and having that soul glow. Yes, because... and you shop with a discount. That's what I was going to say. It gives you a discount when you shop through Atupan or when you shop through Blind Guy, his wife. <laughs> because I'm Laquita Marie before Violet Botanical Skin Care. I'm Laquita Marie after. See how good it works, y'all? <laughs> So that hey, means, Rosemary, how hey, you doing? Hey, Rosemary, come on in. Now, she got to go cover her potatoes. They're growing out back to protect them from too much rain. We oh, understand. Go yes. cover the potatoes. Let's and Alchemic Aura is loving this. We thank you so thank much. You. Love it with a thumbs up as well. And share. Tell a friend. You know, under the video, when you click share, there are all these options. You can click share to Facebook, to Twitter, to Blogger. Like, that's still out. It's a whole bunch of other places. So share in all your groups, everyone. We appreciate it. Speaking of potatoes, sneak peek sneak peek at the plants maze tree has nothing to do with potatoes but it was a plant so it matched yes so here's the thing everybody's putting in hashtag the home team great because we have first place pony coming up tasha oshi grows was first in the chat you can be get first place pony bragging rights though when you put in hashtag the home team so back to the plant-based treat just trying to get you to eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in at every meal. We're not yes. plate popo. We are not fruit hoodlums. We're not, We're not any of that. Yes, we just want you to be sure that you get fruits and vegetables at every meal because it's the way to the best life. You know, actually, our guest today has a smoothie book. You know, her sons. They have books. This is why she's talking to us about scam protection. You have to vet people. You have to really do your research. You have to make sure that you eliminate what you don't need keep what works for you and in her smoothie book that's what she's showing you use all of these different ingredients because they are for you so her son the birthday boy one of her entrepreneurial sons he has a book that talks about um superheroes superheroes she had but his favorite his favorite food is oatmeal so that's the reason why you all are getting this plant-based treat today because you know the birthday boy loves it here's a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat outstanding oatmeal the main ingredients are oat right, that's, that's it, it sneak right peek now. but guys it's time to get ready to saddle up and ride in the first place pony derby mm. make sure you hashtag the home team Hashtag the home team. African Dreaming has already done that. So thank you so much for putting that in. Hashtag the home team. Hey, doing better with Mariah. How are you today? Doing better with Mariah. Thank Good you for morning. Us this morning. Yes. And so we do have Gail at night dropping links. The moderator Queen holding it down for the Blue Ridge team. Absolutely. Now, Wealth Talk Production, he's like, nah, screw that. It's the red team. Mm -hmm. The fix is in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do not put that hashtag. 
Make like Philip Baldo Jr., one of our favorite moderators. Well, the favorite. But anyways, do what he's done. Hashtag the home team. So are we getting into first place pony? No, Shine Moss Farm. You got to put more than just a hashtag. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag the home team. <laughs> I hate when I'm on the phone typing and you go to like type a word and then you hit the send by accident. Then you look like, you know, half yeah, baked. I say the, <laughs> like, the funniest thing is a senior citizen who's doing talk to text. My mom, she would touch that. I need you to, I didn't say that, doggone it. I said, I need you. <laughs> this thing gets on my nerves. And all this, I'm like, mom, whatever you're saying into the phone, it's time. We can hear it. That's what's going into the text. Yes. <laughs> well, Sean Moss Farm got it together and so did doing better with Mariah. So welcome back. Let's welcome back our guest so she Shama can help us. From Fit Goddess Tribe. Good morning once again to you. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Always a pleasure to be on the show. Hey, we matched black and white. Hey, I love it. You know, Sonovia Ridley is watching. Super so in the house. Yes, one of our favorites. I don't know if she's in the States, if she's in Ghana, where she is, but hey, as long as she puts in hashtag the home team like our friend in South Africa, Real Talk with Ntavi, web designer, did our intro video. We appreciate her. Make sure you do that, everybody. Make sure you put in hashtag the home team because Jara is here to tell us about scam prevention, scam protection. It's coming from the standpoint of a mom raising real men to be businessmen in the future. She's got a nine year old uh, going on 10, I'll say that, <laughs> going on 10 year old and yeah. a six year old. And she's raising them to be entrepreneurs to go into business for themselves. So telling us about registered resources for scam prevention because. You know, we call things a scam. We call a lot of things a scam, right? But sometimes it's just a matter of, well, what's the information? So tell us a little bit about registered resources, how you're using those. Uh, well, all our old resources, like when we were in elementary school, you know, go visit your library, go check the newspaper, uh, Google it, and then, you know, word of mouth, the, the originals, right? Um, those will lead you in the right and wrong directions. Everybody knows that uh, there are some websites on the internet that are not viable. Don't trust them. Just period. Don't trust them. Or if you have a homegirl or a friend that says, hey, I dealt with this company and they made me feel this way, or this was their practice, their price was too high, they didn't present the product that they said, believe that person. You know, it's very, don't go in so excited about the potential of the opportunity. And I remember this, my, my mom did this when I was a kid, uh, you know, she wanted, well, I wanted to model. So, you know, you've got all the people and come and spend money in the pageants and you don't want to do that. You have to find something that fits whatever your lifestyle is. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, it's trusting people that their lifestyle mimics my lifestyle. Okay, and when you say people that mimic your lifestyle, one of the great examples you've given before is talking about Kid Expo. Tell everybody about how that was a registered resource that you felt comfortable. Tell us why it made you feel comfortable and how it's benefited Eli. So the Kid Expo is started by the Bennett Center. The Bennett Center has many offsets on it, uh, one of which is the Kid Expo. Uh, their, their mission, the Bennett Center's mission, is to help uh, underprivileged communities out of poverty through entrepreneurship. Um, so I started with myself, right? Uh, technically, I started with myself, but my son got farther than me because kids have more confidence than parents, right? We get in our heads. Um, but because we're doing this process at the same time, okay, sir, I got my book. <laughs> Where's your book? Okay, you got your book, but now now I've been selling my book. So now wait a minute, stop, stop. You can't just breeze past that book. Is that the book I was just talking about? Breeze? Yeah, this is this is my, my first baby. And you know, super cool. When I got my LLC, it is the same date that I found out that I was pregnant with Eli. Oh, oh nice, nice. nice. Okay. You know, this is amazing because bits and pieces with Sasonia, with Sassy or Sasonia, she's listening in. She's a content creator. She's she's all things, you know, like all of us. We're all creating, right? So show us the inside of that book. I was talking about the plant-based treat. Show us some of the pictures and tell us a little bit about this because you were saying that you, you have this book, so you realized I had to do some vetting to prevent scams for myself. I could pass that on to my children. So tell us about what we're looking at here. Correct. So um, one, a lot of with the kids is they're my my trainers. They're, they're the ones that actually push me to believe in myself. So 
the reciprocity is investing in them because they don't have cars and so on and so forth to be able to actualize their dreams. Mm -hmm. um, the woman that is responsible for uh, the book put herself through the process first. Uh, she is a single mother. She has three uh, children and all of them have books. All of them have businesses. I think her youngest mm. is around Eli's age. He's either seven or eight. He's in between, right? I think so just books. so just so that everybody knows, Corey, I am showing her book on Amazon. Mm -hmm. This book is available, you all. It's not just a hard copy. It's the it's it's good stuff. And her link for her link tree is in the bot is in the description. Gail at night is dropping the links. And of course, you can just click this first link, our first book, Breathe, in order to get there. So I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted everybody to know that we don't have to just hear about it. We can be about it. So go ahead. So you were saying that the lady, the lady that helped the Kids Expo with help Elijah with his book, she put herself through the process first. So continue with that. Correct. So um, she, her first business outside of the Bennett Center is um, data mechanics. She became that because of a traumatic experience with marriage, right? She said, I never want anybody to go through that again. And that's kind of the first way that I met her um, in, in, in dating. I was like, okay, cool. So ma'am, how do we, how do we become, cause I can't be a, a strong man. So I still need that counterpart like you have. So help me get to that point. Uh, she gives me some books to help me get past a, a sort of thinking and then she hits me with the sucker punch. Hey, you know, you, you've been doing this. Uh, her and I have actually um, had another business. I had just Jara's Cakes uh, in which I baked vegan cakes. But you know, again, mental processes. If you're not focused and thinking positively, uh, that entrepreneurship won't work. <laughs> so between her and the kids, they said, well, you know, you really have this, this phenomenal thing. You've been giving them these smoothies. Look at your kids outside of the entrepreneurship, they're very healthy, they're very intelligent. You're you got something going here. You know, it's not by chance happening. Let's make it a book. My kids encourage me, and then this happens. So during this process, my son gets to see why his process is worth it. You know, parents mean mm -hmm. I have all the stuff collected, he has to create it. So for me, it looked very simple. And that's kind of misleading to him, but because I didn't have to go through the same process because I had a lot of the things. He had to create the things. He's like, mom, that was so easy. I'm like, no, it really wasn't, kid. <laughs> you actually <laughs> learned more than I did. I wish I had a went through your process. You know? Well, because you're saying you're saying processes. Now, no problem, no problem at all, Gail. She says her internet is acting up. Sorry for the late post. You are fine, Gail. We appreciate you dropping all the links. You're, you're on it. This yeah. is why you're a moderator queen. Now, Philip Waldo Jr. is saying, welcome to the show. But getting back to processes, you're saying this was my first book. You know, I had other people that have gone through the process. You have to trust your gut, but you also have to trust what processes other people have gone through. And what about this book? Because I see on your link tree, this book is here as well. You know, this queen breathes It's a planner. Uh, you have, you know, images so that people can map out their things, work their life. So processes, this looks like it was a collaboration Correct. between you and someone else. So when you're looking to work with other people, um, any, any well, parents are like vetting the vetting process of the, is this going to be a good fit? Yes. It's always the alignment. Um, so for me, it ends up being a lot of melanated people that I work with because they tend to have the same morals and values. Mm. Um, I tend to be geared towards uh, married couples or people that have a really, really strong sense of self um, because they're more direct. They kind of just get to the point. Uh, and then people that, again, also want to be entrepreneurs and have a, a distinct passion. And for anybody that has met somebody that is passionate about whatever it is that they're doing, you can tell. It just mm. it exudes from them to the point where like you're like, OK, calm down. I know you're excited about it. I know it's cool, but please <laughs> give me a break. Right. Um, 
those kind of people, when you collaborate with them, I always say it's, it's phenomenal like this. Um, being able to dance with you, being able to sit and be on your show, being able to... Uh, second, we got to review. We got to backtrack because not everybody knows when you say being able to dance with you, Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters, this is Dr. Brenda, right? So she might not know the everyday life of an OCD chick. Dishes in the house. <laughs> Nikki might not know that you're speaking of Atumpan, our 501c3 nonprofit. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. So, so you experienced it firsthand in several different ways. So you're like, it's the alignment. You Correct. know good people. And I know that you had met us quite a few times before. before uh, you had seen together. us. Before you had performed with us. Yeah, you had seen us. We do have a couple of questions that we're going to get to okay. after the first place pony. So don't worry, Philip Waldo Jr. and JBWR. We've got your questions starred here because we got questions about this book. What's the turnaround time? And how do you protect yourself from the internet? All mm -hmm. that is coming. But tell us a little bit about I guess since we're here, um, we didn't know you were going to mention this, but go ahead. Autumn Pond and uh, wait it. a minute. Let me talk trash to Wolf Talk Productions. He's talking about, so you wrote a book, huh? So what was your process of publishing your book? Did you go through a book publishing firm or publishing through other resources? We're going to look, me and Wally are Wealth Talk Productions are always fighting on the internet. That's our, that's our main man. So we're going to save his question for later. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, we we, when you're talking about this, it actually works out. Atom Pond. You know, Atom Pond, you know, our you know, <laughs> vetting process. You saw us several times performing. You saw other performers with us. And you saw we had a lot of families performing as units. And then we were a family unit myself. So mm -hmm. that's part of your vetting process. So what, what was your experience like bringing Eli and Nasir and yourself into Yeah, because Alpha McOra is saying, Jara the Amazing, you and your children are making the rest of the world look like we're all standing still. You're phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, I'm, I always call myself important. I'm not originally from Virginia. And I've noticed after being here over two decades that when you're not from any place, you have a tourist mindset. So you typically know more about the place than the people that live there. It's kind yep. of weird. But um, because of that, once I had kids, I, I started trying to learn Virginia in a different way. Like as a single person, I just knew about the clubs and the places to go <laughs> with my friends. Uh, when I became a mother, then it was like, whoa, these kids need experience. Mm -hmm. What am I going to teach them about life? So then again, here comes more resources. Um, going to the hospitals, they give you a lot of good, valuable information about what places to go, how to get your body back in shape. Um, and then what websites can help you find further? My favorite is myactivechild.com. I think that's how I found you guys. Oh. You were listed on one of their events as a free Kwanzaa thing, and I'm very Afrocentric. It is a huge proponent of my life to make sure that my kids uh, live by those seven principles. And what better way than at the end of the year to reestablish and reaffirm those things. So in finding that one production you guys did, I became addicted. I was like, oh my God, this is great. <laughs> this is their kids. It's a family. They have other people. It's in plays. I mean, that was mm. what I did as a kid. So I'm like, this is this is everything that is me. And then I kept coming and I kept coming like there. They don't just do plays. They do they do history. They they debunk myths. They they talk about the reality, the they just everything it's all encompassing i was like oh my god and then you guys did the altar call <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the altar call. <laughs> yeah you know hey everybody who wants to come and dance on stage oh yeah i think it was a uh, croc center that year that yep. we, we ended up getting up on stage with you guys and i remember going back to the seats and i looked at both of my boys i said hey guys would anybody want to do that next year? And Elijah was like, Ugh, I don't know. Okay, cool. Nas was like, yes. <laughs> and then that's what we did. I remember talking to um, one of you and the girls afterwards, and you guys told me how to, to get in contact with you, and then that was all she wrote. I was yeah, I'm just... And right now, Corey, I'm just showing rehearsals from Turtle Tales 2017. That was our Kwanzaa. And this is, was just like a quick video that was created from some of the rehearsals that went into it and all of that. So, yes, it's and, and there's um, oh, what dance is that? What's that source of name? 
<laughs> Anyways, we weren't even supposed to be here. Yeah, Let's get, get out of here. We gotta get these right. No, no, no but it's, that that proves the point of registered resources. I really take my time to go back and really vet whether or not just because you say you're a family are you a good family mm. what are your morals in your family as your family grows is it still something that i would want to see because you have girls and i have boys there are a lot of things that i consider differently or right. similar you know and then there are a lot of times in which you all have helped me grow as a parent uh we went to we were on tv for something some show that we were trying to broadcast and yeah, i don't know because we're on tv a lot so we don't i can't remember <laughs> and by the way art of the lone wolf is in here with the fire and the wolf hey there uh -huh. Bill was saying you why are you talking about me jara i'm gonna get back in shape but anyways mm -hmm. okay <laughs> but i remember i didn't bring the boys because they had just started school and you said i said you know miss laquita i don't know if i did the right thing you know it's school and you were like yeah but the kids will be in school for 13 years of their life. I feel like <laughs> one day where they can be immortalized on TV versus going to school. Ugh. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> but again, parents, as we get to different levels, we learn different things. So you yeah. have to have trusted people that have come before you doing what you're trying to do. So Absolutely. I wouldn't trust anybody that hasn't been through the process even with my brand that's what i'm big on i tell people i'm not going to ask you to do anything that i haven't already done myself yeah this is good you know um, everybody's saying such wonderful things we do have uh rambo green hands putting in a beautiful comment saying i truly believe we all have many books in us we because we have all the experience and god bless you jara you are doing the things which is always positive so we got to do the first place yeah, pony. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for all these registered uh, resources. The amazing MG is watching from Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes. So uh, the amazing MG, make sure you put in hashtag, hashtag the, the home, home team, team because we're about to do the first place pony and Jara is helping us with it. So I'm going to make the horse race announcement, Jara. And when I make the gate sound bring, when I say bring, that's when you're going to say rock that monster. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? That's an inside joke, but she, 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 that's what she's going to say. Okay, all right, cool. Sanobia <laughs> says, my favorite family are great role models. Yeah, thank you, Tasha. Oh, she grows. Okay, $10 super chat, super you, Tasha, sticker. I appreciate it. Okay, great. Brown Coat Blue has put in hashtag the home team. So has they JBWR. And look at Wally. They meant hashtag the rig team. Mm -hmm. You know what? This is why you may or may not win right now, Wally. Tasha Oshi oh, grows, girl. You got a good chance of winning just because of that super sticker. But uh, uh yeah, she wins. <laughs> Guys, this is a totally unrigged, randomized, unbiased selection that we're pulling up. Yes. Oh, you know, we have to also ask this question. Have you encountered any scams during your vetting process? Mm, that is a great question. I won't necessarily say scams, but people are people. So I've definitely had a situation a way to where rephrase it. you think you know somebody because you're paying them to do a job and then they still don't do a job, but you've already paid. So what do you do? You, you do something else. Yeah, I get it. You know, all that work homesteader is working and listening. I know my Renaissance grandma was driving and listening. And so make sure Brown Coat Blue, you got in hashtag the home team because all that has put it in there. And Rambo is laughing at you talking about only you, Corey. What did I say? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyways, let's get on to the first place pony. All right. Da, 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 da. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another run of the divine guy, his wife, their life live. First place pony derby. All the jockeys are mounted in position behind the gates, ready to ride. Bring! Rock that monster. All right. All, right. all right. We got Brown Blue, Tasha Oshi Girls, All Night Homestead, Real, uh, Real Talk with Intabi, JBWR, Cassandra, Coach Remy, Fitness, Shaman Swan, JBWR, Real Talk with Intabi, Doing Better with Mariah, JBWR, Rambo! Hey! 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 Wow, that's what I'm talking. Now I know Wally's gonna be happy. Now he's see, look, he was saying good luck to the rest of you, and thank you so much, the amazing MNG. She loves our logos on our tops. I appreciate it. We got these shirts uh, from. So yes, it's available on blindguyhiswife.com. Uh, everybody's saying congratulations. I'm Rainbow sure. Green hands came riding in on a unicorn with wings to take the first place pony. <laughs> yeah, so Brown Coat Blue is congratulating. Uh, uh oh, Sec Amethyst says, I didn't see my name. I think it just flew right past. I probably couldn't say it quick enough. You know, 
But let's just congratulate, because I didn't rig it, Psych Amethyst. Uh, yeah, I know you're the lioness of videography. I got you. <laughs> Rambo is happy saying, wow. And even Tasha Oshi grows. Girl, I tried to rig it up for you, but it didn't work. Uh, she's saying congratulations. Can you please also congratulate Rambo Ooh. Green Hands for winning the first place pony, Jara? Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, John, we're gonna why she got to dance and everything? <laughs> we're gonna put you back in the virtual green room and you, so you we can get on with your topic, topic, and do your fancy formal introduction. Yes, we'll see you soon. Okay. All right. All right, Corey Rambo says thank you to all my amazing family, Shine Moss Farm, all in that homesteader. They're all still congratulating. I appreciate the camaraderie there. Let's get on with it, Corey. Who's our guest? If you're just joining us, thank you for watching this episode of A Blind Guy. His wife. Their Life Live. We're here for you every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Helping you change your narrative of what you think it might mean to be normal when it comes to your health, your business, and your wealth. We introduce you to fabulous guests all along this one-hour <laughs> journey, and today is no exception to the fabulous guest room. <laughs> Rambo Greenhand says, Jackfruit, you did it. Those, them rays finally mm -hmm. kicked in. <laughs> Jackfruit helps you win. That's right. When you think about the word goddess, goddess, images come to mind. You think of the beautiful goddess of Athena. You think of the goddess of the different, all the different African deities, like uh, Asar and Oset. You think of those wonderful, beautiful women. You think of a goddess, you might think of Nefertiti. You might think of Halle Berry. Don't get that excited, Corey. <laughs> you might think of Vanessa Williams. When they were in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> you might think of all these beautiful women, but all these beings, deities and living women, Pale in comparison to the goddess that is coming today. Ooh. This goddess is a goddess not just because she is a symbol of beauty. She is not just a goddess because she knows how to rock that monster. She is a goddess because she is doing her best to do what goddesses do. And that's to provide protection for their people. Mm. It's time for today's feature guest. She's the goddess of motherhood. She's the goddess of fitness. She is the goddess of publications. She is none other than the fit goddess herself, Jara C. Woo! Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Man, always with the intro, Joe. He has the most slamming his intros each time. This is what we do, right? Look at David Hunt saying, you tell him, Wally, keeping it real. Hunting <laughs> boy in Massachusetts. Yeah, saying hello. David Hunt is here, so I think we can get started with another topic because you have really brought it to us regarding registered resources and how to protect your children and yourself from scams. But we want to hear more about protecting your intellectual property as well. Because you have books. Eli's published the book. And he's about to publish a second edition to that book. And you also have a Nasir, young Nasir, who's going to be publishing some books. So what advice do you have? Because people, especially when it comes to children who are doing business, people think, oh, I can just get over on them. Yeah. What are, what are you well, this kind of goes, intellectual property? well, this, we want to hear about the intellectual property. And I'm also going to bring in those questions from earlier, because I think this kind of, you can kind of answer those as well. Uh, how do you protect yourself from the internet? And of course, Philip, uh, excuse me, Philip asked that and JBWR asked, what's the turnaround time for your publishing, for publishing your book? Because you mentioned the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the turnaround time is really self-determined. Um, we self-published through Amazon. Now, like I said, I had someone helping me, so I don't have to do any of the work. The work that I had to do, she showed me a template and said, put your information in here because I have a cookbook and I already had recipes. I just really had to put the recipes together. The hardest part for me was mm -hmm. adding the sauce, you know, where you're like, oh, hey, this is what I think of this, or this is what I call this, or this is how I feel, because now that's where um, self-doubt and judgment comes in. You're like, oh, nobody wants to hear what I have to say. You can drink my smoothie, but they want <laughs> you in the book too. Like, why is this delicious? Tell me. Um, so I would say the turnaround time is really dependent on self-determination, motivation, and what you actually have to produce. If you right. have to create the whole book, it could take way longer um, because you actually have to 
produce it and then format it and then publish it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then of course, um, how do you protect yourself from the internet is another one that uh, Philip asked. And of course, this kind of, uh, you kind of answer some of those things that Will Talk Production asked about the process of publishing. You self-published and you went to a book publishing firm or through other resources. And you said you self-published, you used a friend, you used a template. So all of those questions were answered. Right. But what about for protecting your intellectual property? How do you protect yourself from the internet? And also, how do you protect your children? Because of course, like you said, like we've been saying, your son, Adventure Time Eli, you know, he's on and popping. He's on social media. He's all over the place, both sons. So yeah. tell us a little bit about protecting intellectual property and these things here. Uh, well, what's super cool about this day and age is I'm a millennial and we had this conversation. I'm of the millennial that still knows how to handwrite letters and I know where the stamps go and how to put them in the post office. I had a typewriter and then computers came out, <laughs> right? And it was like, oh my God, this is a thing, it's a box. And then we do the stuff. Um, so computers aren't, when I hear people say, protect yourself from the internet, it's, it's weird. We created it. How do you, that's like me mm. saying, protect myself from my sons. I created them. I shouldn't put anything into them that is going to cause me harm. Right. So the cool thing with that is we have control over everything that we put on social media or in the internet in general. There are some people that stray away from it, but you still have um, credit cards, you still have a social security number, you mm. still have a smartwatch or a cell phone or <laughs> you know, an Amazon <laughs> device, like I have several of them. So it really depends on what you mean you're protecting yourself from, because you've got to think about how much information is already available because you were born into the world. So when you mention all of these devices, though, let's retract because let's or let's review, we'll go back a little bit. You're saying we're wearing smartwatches. They had they're a tracking device. Uh, what right. were some of the other things that you that you just mentioned? Uh, cell, device, phone. cell phones, cell phones, tracking devices. Whether your phone is on or off, whether you have the the location on or off, it's a tracking device. Uh, apps, social apps, if you are on Facebook and all of that, they track your location, they're tracking you. And so that's where you're saying, okay, how are we protecting ourselves? Because actually a lot of the information is being shared anyways. Uh oh, right. everyday life of an OCD chick has put in hashtag the home team. You guys, if you are watching, always tap the screen and hit the word live at the bottom left of the screen, because otherwise you might get behind a little bit. And so, yes, and you know, and just like you were saying, Jar, we're responsible for the content that we create and put out there on the internet. So yeah. we have to be mindful of what it is we're actually putting out there for people to, because either you can present information to for people to observe or for people to judge. And, yes. and so your job as a content creator is to put, put information out there that people are going to observe and that you're going to leave it in a state of observation instead of saying, you know, I'm wondering, oh, what do they think about this? Or, what do they think about that? You know, just right. like when we do you know, our content creation, we bring people on, not for them to be judged, but for them to be observed so people can learn from them. But you and choose what you share. You choose what you share. And right. that goes right into what... Wait a minute, like, we got a question. Because that goes right into what Chai Moss Farm is saying. Are your recipes copywritten or copyrighted? Right. That's exactly copyrighted. What I was yeah. If you create content. What do you do to protect that content? Yes. So, uh oh, let's see. Hold on. We got to make you full screen so that way all of us can see what's happening there. And let me move this out of the way. Copywritten by Jara Clark 2020. Breathe. <laughs> protect your intellectual property. I see it right there. All rights reserved in the whole disclaimer. And so there, there's certain measurements that we can already put in place to make sure that we are protecting our intellectual property, right? Right. And the cool thing is as your intellect grows, right? Copyrights are cool for some things. Trademarks are better for other things, you know? Um, once you get to those levels, then you have to expand and be like, okay, well, I need to trademark my brand. I need the pictures, my face, the words, everything that I say to be not just the words on the page, my actions. You know, all of this needs to be enclosed in a safety. You know, yeah, and that's yeah. what we provide for the kids by going forward before them and trying to do what we're telling them to do. Uh, you know, so let me ask you this. 
is uh, because you're talking about protecting our children, right? The same way Garden State Gardener, thank you so much for the super sticker. Uh, he's protecting his son, Joey. You know, his son, Joey, uh, they recently went to Disney. When they were at Disney, Garden State Gardener chose what to show. We saw different rides. We didn't see Joey everywhere, right? But right. we saw like some of the attractions so we can share what we want to share. And what I wanted to ask, because we're getting to the top of the hour, so we want everyone to start putting in the next hashtag. Hashtag adventure underscore time underscore Eli. Adventure time Eli, because that's your son. You're protecting his uh, intellectual property and all of those good things. But is his book currently on Amazon as well so that we can be sure to drop that into the chat? Not yet. So he has a physical book that he is using his own money to produce and recreate um, because he wants to make some edits before he actually finalizes his book. Uh, oh. So he does have his first book that is able to purchase. And like I said, he'll be vending at uh, Pet World in Hampton, the 757 off of Mercury Boulevard. Um, but then after that, you'll get the link when we when we drop the books. Nice. And so speaking of getting the links, when we drop the books, I know that you have, okay, thank you, Philip Waldo Jr. for putting hashtag adventure underscore time underscore Eli. Tasha Oshi Gross has it in there. So people know how to get it in because he has a Facebook page. He has a, an Instagram, but meanwhile, you're the one posting. The children are not the ones posting right. to keep them safe. Put, tell us about Correct. some of the measures that you're using Thank you everyone for putting that in to keep them safe. Uh oh, Philip is a proud graduate of Hooked on Phonics. That's why he was able to do that. <laughs> now you're putting in Adventure Time Eli also because they are going to, what are they going to win with this? So Jara, what we, what, what we do? Yeah. <laughs> we just, She's laughing at XDMC. I, I, know <laughs> I know what he's saying. I, I, I guess, I'm guessing, but um, we, we have two things. If you're an international guest, then we're going to do a shout. Jara can do a shout out on Eli's next Instagram post. Mm. If you are a guest here in the U.S., then there's they, Eli, guys. That's the real Adventure Time Eli. Then Eli <laughs> has already said that he would give one of his books away. Ooh, give one of his books away. Nice. So, of course, some people have Adventure Time Eli in there. I know that XDMC is talking trash, Please. saying, okay, he said, my wife, and y'all, I only have to read this because Corey can't see. My wife trademarked me. She did a copyright on me also. I think it's called a marriage certificate. I was looking for the expiration date on it and I couldn't find it. <laughs> Speak, brother. Preach, brother. Hey, no, no. Me. You know what? Get back. Let's okay, let's get back to social media safety as we wrap this up. We're at the top of the hour. Every married man in the house put in a gold, put in that golden leash that you put on your ring finger. Adventure on time, <laughs> adventure time, Eli. While you're there, show us your book once again. Put it up to the screen so that we can see it. You have an actual book. Make sure your you mom's books. Me on Instagram. Ooh, all the books, the whole family, published authors. Please. You said follow you on where, Eli? Instagram. So at adventure time underscore adventure underscore time underscore Eli. Eli. All right. Uh huh. So I have a quick question for you since you're here, Adventure Time Eli. Eli the, when, Great. Eli the Great, Adventure Time Eli the Great. Okay. So when you're on social media, do you get to post or do you just get to read the posts? I can post if I wanted to. If you wanted to. Ah. But do you post or do you let your mom do that? I let mom do it. Um, I actually take videos and make clips and she just posts it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. so that's little ways. Go ahead. With little, um, I think two and a half, he was like, mom, I want Instagram. And I was like, nah, bro, I can't. I don't have that much, <laughs> I don't have that much time or energy. That's too much for, sauce for me to learn. I said, I can do Instagram. So it took him a little bit to, to get consistently finding things that were content, you know, getting him to do stuff that was him learning and progressing towards his goal. Like once I clean up, maybe sure space. Not now. I will get my new brain. You know what I'm talking about. He's talking about rats. He's trying to. He's trying to get rats. Anyway, yeah, that was the other one. He's so here's the thing. Healthy G Mom is here, and Dale Homestead are here. They're going to be here for your second giveaway. So is the Love and Live Show. So or Love and Live Show, and so. If you are local, like in the States, 
you might win in one of Adventure Time Eli's books, right? Yes. And if you're not, you get to make the decision because he wants to get rats. Now he's a reptilian or he has books. He has his own Instagram page. He has his own Facebook page. And they're always posting and showing like, you know, what is happening in his life. But of course, you just heard for social media safety, it's his mom posting. He can see those posts. He can help take the pictures for those posts, but it's not him creating the content. So you can decide if he gets rats or not. Is that right? Is that yeah, the decision? That's the decision. If he, oh if he gets, if you get to have this help. I still get to turn it. I have to clean up my room and make a space for it for me to get the rat. I didn't say that, but oh. okay. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> so, yeah. so wait a minute, Adventure Time Eli. <laughs> The people are going to help us decide, okay? Whoever Eli, wins. Eli, don't be the first kid to be killed on the live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's this turtle swimming on its feeding time. This is so cool. Okay. So they're eating Zoomed turtle pellets. Zoomed turtle pellets. Mmm. So I what got we're it. Gonna do Thank is you. We're going to say, John, I'm going to count you in three, two, one. When I get to one, then you and Eli can say, Adventure Time Eli. Yes. Now, No Brainer Languages is listening also. Healthy G Mom loves this information. So I don't know if they've all put in underscore, excuse me, adventure underscore time, time underscore, underscore Eli. Eli. Make sure you put that in. If while, you do, you might win. And while they're doing that, just remember, guys, if you out there, you have intellectual property, always, always, always make sure that you either copyright or trademark it. That gone are the days of what they call the poor man's copyright, where you take a copy of something you made and email it to yourself. Yeah. That it right now you just go online to the Library of Congress. It's a it takes about a half hour sometimes to fill out the paperwork. Mm -hmm. It might cost thirty five. The last time I copyrighted the copyright was like thirty five dollars, but it's, the prices have changed. Mm -hmm. But the minute you click submit and they click receive, you are you are protected at yes. that point. So it's no longer a need for you to go to the post office and mail something to yourself yep exactly so yep make sure you add an underscore in between this the way no okra did put adventure underscore time underscore eli thank you philip for helping them and love and live show has it there so does healthy g mom i think we're ready for the giveaway let's go for it all right and here we go three wait 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 let me make sure everybody put it in okay good jbwr put it in as well you know we had to make sure some of our favorites put it in okay go Two. for it <laughs> One. Adventure Time Eli. Adventure Time Eli. Awesome. All right, Tasha Oshi Grows, uh, JBWR, No Okra, Coach Remy Fitness, Love and Live. Uh, Garden State, Garden of David Hunt, No, no Okra is in his price. Okay, Garden State, Garden, Love and Live show. Coach Remy Fitness. Hey, all the way in Belgium. Yes. So Coach Remy Fitness gets to make the decision. You know, I, Eli get the rats or rats or no rats. Rats or no rats. I have a feeling that Coach Remy might be live. What'd you say, Eli? I said, please let me get some rats. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got you a know, space. Yeah. I got thaw out and everything. Uh oh, he's ready. Brown coat blue is congratulating. So is Garden State Gardener. Jar, only yes, in this sir. type of decision with Jar. Only on this type of decision would your mom be okay with letting somebody decide whether you can bring home rats or not. <laughs> And this is tricky. I know. And this is tricky because Coach Remy Fitness is here. I was going to say, well, maybe he's live because he does live fitness. Like he's a fitness person like yourself, Jara. And he says, I am back to winning. Yeah, you winning again. Mm -hmm. So everybody's saying congratulations, Coach. He's saying thank you. But Coach, tell us. Does Eli get the pet rats or no rats? Pet rats or no rats. And while everybody's answering, Jara, we do have to ask our final question. Jara, fit goddess yourself. What? Fruits, vegetables, or whole grains have you eaten today? Ooh, we had strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. That was it. Uh huh. Well, and that's the, the whole grains. We were having a flatbread for lunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. And dairy is milk. We're well, gonna eat some peppers and onions because I put a little bit of pepper and onion up there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Peppers and onions. Adventure everything. time, Eli's also adventure chef time, Eli. So yeah, like, and right. you know what, Coach Remy just says, Eli, great things coming. I think he doesn't want to be responsible. <laughs> for the I will be responsible for the rest. No, no, no. I think Coach Remy doesn't want to be responsible for making the decision because he knows that you're responsible. That's why he said, great things coming. Who said yes? 
That's a vote for the rat. Oh, thank you, Healthy G Mom. Love and Live is your guest. Thank you so much. Now, with that being said, <laughs> today's today's plant based treat is something special because the birthday boy of something Nasir who turns mm. six is a favorite. Hey, nah. oh. and, yeah, we gotta we gotta sing happy birthday before we do the plant based treat. Is that right? Yes, and Jara, you have a great journey. You gotta check Jara out, follow her. She has a great journey of fitness. Um, and like I said, guys, if you check out the her videos and things like that, you'll well, keep in mind you'll understand that, the joke, rock the monster. <laughs> yeah, and keep in mind that her link tree, all of the links are right there in the description, so you can always check out her products, her services. Uh, and it's cool. She has several different ways. You might want to follow this model. She has several di several different ways that you can support right there on the on the link tree. So it, it's cool, right? The way everything she has her buy me a coffee page all set up for it. So she's a mom. It's not only talking to talk. She's walking the walk with her children to keep them protected from scams. Is Nasir there? Yeah, they're both here. All right, Nasir. Here we go. This is this is for you for your birthday. Yes. This is your birthday song. It is a very long. All right, very good. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Bubba. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. So we're going to put you back into the virtual green room, Jara. And when we get back, then stay tuned to the end of the broadcast, and then we'll talk to you as soon as the broadcast ends, okay? All right. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, Corey, how do we do this plant-based treat? Now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Always making sure you get fruits and vegetables at every single meal. This Here. one's for you, Nas. Oh. And X E B E B E B D M M M C. <laughs> Outstanding oatmeal. The main ingredients are oats and milk. We're gonna add our bonus ingredients, which is fruits and nuts, craisins couple of pears and walnut. Get some craisins into the bag. These are just dried cranberries. Cranberries play a key role in skin and joint health. They help prevent and treat urinary tract infections. So let's get our oats. You want to use old fashioned or quick cook. Oats are among the most nutrient dense foods loaded with important vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It also helps prevent asthma in children when fed to young infants. Just cover it and let it cook on medium. Don't let it bubble over. It's gonna get our pears sliced. Take the core out. Pears are high in fiber and antioxidants, which reduce the risk of developing cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and diseases like dementia. Add pears, cook on medium until they get soft. Add this banana here. Bananas have a chemical that preserves your memory, boosts your ability to learn and remember things, and regulates your mood. Also improves the symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease. We'll add cinnamon, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon has been used to treat coughing, arthritis, and sore throats, and some types of fungal infection. Finish it with the walnuts. Walnuts are nutrient dense, providing heart healthy fats to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and heart attack. You can add sugar. Sweeten the oatmeal to your taste. To finish this off, with some hemp seeds. I like the oatmeal. It was creamy and I like the bananas. It was soft and crunchy. All righty. Right, guys, well, we thank you for joining us on this episode of Blind Guy. His wife. Their Life Live joins tomorrow. It's game day Friday. Hey, we'll Richmond is here. Hey, Richmond, thank you for joining us and join us again tomorrow because we'll be, we're going to introduce you to Dr. T. Colin Campbell. 88 years old and vegan and he's been he's still in good health so. good health oh not just in good health and great health we met him sharp. we met him last uh sunday we got pictures with him he's amazing it's it's just good and Corey, i said all oh, because healthy g mom's grandson's name is nasir she says oh, i love it nasir. happy birthday all right yes so and Love and Live show is laughing in there we used to be down like four flat tires jara sorry <laughs> philip you just gotta you know <laughs> You lost the race this time, but hey, next time, tomorrow, there's lots of races. Look at it that way. All right. So to say goodbye today, we're going to say goodbye. <laughs> Let's sing happy birthday to Wally because he said, help the G-Mom. If that's a birthday song, then I don't need to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Love and Live Show. She says that looks delicious. And G. Albert, you are not stopping by for the second hour because we are out of here. Yeah. Well, we're going to say goodbye. The way we're going to say goodbye is we're going to say exactly 
what I should have said on May 14, 2000 at about two o'clock in the afternoon. Y'all know what? This is this. That's our. I should have said. We'll be married 22 years, May 14, 2022. Just FYI. Y'all figure it out. Why I should have said deuces. Juicy.